Tragic Turbulence Tragedy Boeing 777 Flight SQ321 London, UK to Singapore One man left dead On Monday, 20th of May 2024 A Boeing 777 aircraft Flight SQ321 Set off from London Heathrow Airport In the UK around 10.40am UK time Heading for Singapore Carrying 211 passengers and 18 crew members, people from all around the world, including Australians and Americans, along with British, Malaysians and more. When around 11 hours into the 13 hour long flight, tragedy struck when what seemed to be an unexpected turbulence encounter hit the huge aircraft. Passengers were not expecting such an experience and many were not belted in safely, which in turn left at least 30 people seriously injured, most needing to be hospitalised, seven known to be critically injured and tragically a 70-year-old British man suffered a heart attack during the incident and passed away. There could be more much serious injuries that we do not know of just yet. Let's have a little look into this horrific event. Now as this is such a recent event, I do not have that much information but I wanted to cover this, so today I shall be informing you on what I know so far. On the 20th of May 2024, weather conditions seemed pretty calm and 211 people boarded the Boeing 777 to head to Singapore, some for a holiday or to stop off on their travels, some heading home. The flight went smoothly for the majority of the time. This was a long haul flight lasting around 13 hours and after around 11 hours in it was time for breakfast. So many passengers were probably groggy, waking up, feeling stiff from the length of the flight, some needing a toilet break and many just wanting to stretch and move about. Then we have the cabin crew up and about preparing to serve breakfast to up to 211 people. So of course there would have been a lot going on and many people out of their seats. Unfortunately, this is when tragedy struck. And even with the pilot turning the seatbelt sign on, this from a witness on board as it happened, the passengers who needed that stretch and a little walkabout or a loo break were completely struck off guard, including the cabin crew, which I know of one of was seriously injured, whilst trying to prepare breakfast. As from another witness, the sign was only switched on immediately before the turbulence impact. When a so-called clear air turbulence area suddenly came upon the Boeing 777. The people who were out of their seats and the crew members had no time at all to react and safely return to buckle in even with the warning. There was just no time to react. It seemed to be without warning even from the pilot with such a delayed response with the oncoming turbulence which left many passengers out of their seats or not belted in in time and in serious shock when they were subsequently thrown out of their seats and into the air. Many people hitting or smashing their heads on the overhead luggage areas. Others were thrown onto the ground with what I believe was with some serious force, especially from the footage and the photos of everything thrown about and even parts of the aircraft left damaged from the sheer impact of the victim's heads. I can only imagine the pure mass panic as all of the oxygen masks began to fall from above whilst passengers were hurling through the air luggage hitting people and everyone screaming. Just terrible. Now, usually the aircraft would receive information from air traffic control about such turbulence ahead. The pilot would therefore warn the aircraft's passengers and crew with the seatbelt warning sign, telling all passengers to return to their seats and buckle themselves in to prepare. But for some reason, this was all delayed. Apparently, the area of which this tragedy took place is known for having clear air turbulence. So again, why were passengers not warned in advance, ahead of time, to get to safety in their seats? If this exact area is known for having such weather conditions, conditions that are also visually hard to see, yet are known to happen here, 
why were passengers unaware allowed to roam the aircraft? And why serve breakfast here at this point in the flight? I mean, we're already 11 hours in, there's literally two hours to go, which I understand is still a long time, but they could have timed it differently, you know, served breakfast earlier. Anyway, this area is called the Intertropical Convergence Zone where the Boeing 777 flight SQ321 plunged around 6,000 feet and this very zone is apparently renowned amongst pilots for such turbulence occurring. Clear air turbulence, also known and shortened to CAT, is more dangerous than other turbulence that aircrafts may encounter on their journeys, as like I just said, there are no visual signs to warn pilots, such as clouds, and is caused when bodies of air moving at wildly different speeds meet. CAT can be hazardous to not just the comfort, but also the safety of air travellers. So, you know, again, it seems a strange time to me to have the passengers out of their seats and breakfast being prepared, when what they all should be preparing for is this exact, unexpected, but known about, dangerous and sometimes perilous weather conditions in this very area. Strange to me. But I'm no pilot or air traffic controller. It just seems that if the very place they were crossing through is well known amongst pilots for being dangerous, that they would keep the seatbelt sign on. That's just my point of view. I've also heard being reported multiple times now that climate change is believed to be increasing the turbulence. But again, this is not facts for certain, but from someone who should, you know, know their shit basically. <laughs> The Boeing 777 is one of the largest and most solid airframes flying around the world and are built to withstand serious amounts of turbulence. Shame the inside and all involved are much more delicate in such situations. According to Flight Radar 24, the flight encountered a rapid change in a vertical rate consistent with a sudden turbulence event. Whilst around 37,000 feet in the air, the huge Boeing plummeted around 6 or 7,000 feet in around just 5 minutes, reports state. In just minutes. Now this isn't horrifically fast, but as you can see from the onboard photos and videos, and of course the injuries sustained on board, clearly shows that if you are not in your seats and bolted in, any such turbulence can be deadly and should always be taken extremely seriously by pilots, crew and passengers alike. After the plummet, the pilot had to divert the aircraft and managed to safely make an emergency landing in Bangkok, Thailand. But of course, by then, serious damage had been done. It must have been utter chaos on board, with panicked and frantic people everywhere, others bleeding on the floor, serious injuries all around. No one is prepared for this. Again, some people were just going on holiday. And unfortunately, that is what the unsuspecting 73-year-old Geoffrey Ralph Kitchen was doing. A man from Bristol in the UK who was travelling on holiday with his wife Linda and is suspected to have suffered a heart attack at the time of this horrific event. But an autopsy would need to be performed to prove this. Geoffrey passed away on board the Boeing 777 and his wife was said to have had to have been hospitalised along with so many other victims to the turbulence tragedy. The nightmare continued for the passengers as the ones not seriously injured had to witness others being carried off the aircraft on backboards to try and support the awful injuries. The other terrified passengers had to just sit and watch as all of this took place in front of them and unable to leave it must have been so traumatic and claustrophobic also. At least 10 ambulances were sent to the scene and firefighters to aid in the rescue and safe recovery of all the injured passengers by Bangkok services. 
It's great to see everyone come together at such tragic times to all help one another. That is just the little silver lining here. To see the responses from Bangkok services. Medical tents were set up beside the aircraft to assess the multiple people suffering from head injuries and more, from the impact of their heads hitting the overhead luggage compartments. Since the tragedy, Singapore Airlines released a statement offering their deepest condolences to the family of the deceased. The Transport Safety Investigation Bureau under the Singaporean Transport Ministry said they are investigating the incident and will be deploying investigators to Bangkok. What an awful story. My heart goes out to all involved in this disaster, all the families and loved ones of 73-year-old Jeffrey Ralph Kitchen who passed away and all who continue to suffer. I am genuinely thinking of every single one of you. I feel this horrendous turbulence incident as a stark reminder of the sheer importance of both the seatbelt sign itself and being aware of the seatbelt sign and how serious it is to abide by. I know it's hard at times, especially on long haul flights, but it is always best to remain seated when possible on all flights. Stay safe guys and thank you for watching.